So we've had a lot of people claiming that Phoenix here can't be a buckskin because he's a paint. So we just wanted to do a little educational post so that people could learn about proper terminology. And uh, I'm going to try to keep it as basic as possible because I know without a genetics background it can be a little overwhelming. But uh, Phoenix here is going to help me talk about his colors. I also wanted to just say that I've been studying color genetics for over 20 years. Uh, I did several genetics courses while I was in university. Um, studied from very basic Mendelian genetics to molecular genetics. Uh, I really like the topic. I find it very interesting. Uh, I read equine genetic research papers for fun because I'm that kind of person. Um, anytime a new discovery comes out, I will read the scientific paper. Um, I also do guest lectures at the local university on equine color genetics and diseases. So it's kind of something I really like and I find it a lot of fun and I love sharing my knowledge with people. So here's a fun little educational post for you. He's very helpful. Yeah, he's very, very helpful. Are you gonna guest lecture with me? I don't think you're very good at it. No, I don't think you are. You're not supposed to eat the guest lecturer. No. Mm. I don't know how much of a help Phoenix is gonna be for this, but uh, I might have to wait for him to lay down and have a little nap because he's not very helpful. Oh yeah, you're cute, but you're not too helpful. So all that being said, let's get into some basic terminology. A paint is a breed. So yes, Phoenix is a paint as both of his parents are registered with the American Paint Horse Association, which means he too will be registered with the American Paint Horse Association. He will be registered as a buckskin for color and Tobiano for pattern. So in order to be classified as a paint, they must be registered with the APHA. A pinto is a loose term used to describe the colorful pattern and is not the name of a particular breed of horse. Any horse that displays one of several coat patterns can be considered a pinto. Breeds that commonly produce pinto patterns are gypsy vanners and drum horses, miniature horses, saddlebreds, even some warm bloods and mustangs. Now buckskin is a color of horses that can be found in many breeds. Buckskin occurs as a result of the cream gene acting on a bay base. Therefore, a buckskin has the extension or black base gene, which is represented by a capital E, and at least one copy of the agouti gene, which is represented by a capital A. This gene restricts the black base to the points, the mane, tail, and legs. They also have one copy of the cream gene, which is represented by a capital C, capital C, lowercase r. The cream gene dilutes the red-brown base color to various shades of brown, tan, or gold. So in this case, Phoenix here is a dark buckskin. Phoenix also has the Tobiano gene, which is the cause of his white pattern. The Tobiano gene is represented by a capital T and a capital O. It is a dominant gene and produces white-haired, pink skin patches on a base coat color. This coloration is present at birth and does not change throughout the horse's life. Common Tobiano traits would be white legs from the hocks and knees down, white crossing across the back between the withers and the dock of the tail. White patches are usually rounded. This is the reason why Phoenix doesn't have the typical black points because the white pattern is over top of his base color. So most Tobianos have white legs like he does. So it gets rid of those black points. We know that Phoenix is a buckskin for several reasons. When buckskins are born, they have different wet and dry color than your typical bay foals. They tend to be less bay brown and more of a cream brown. They also tend to have lighter color hair in their ears and oftentimes are born with blue gray eyes that will darken with age. We genetic test all of our mares and stallions so we know what they can and can't produce. This specific breeding had the potential to produce a buckskin tobiano, a dunskin tobiano, perlino dun tobiano, bay tobiano, Bay Dun Tobiano and Perlino Tobiano. In the past, this cross has produced two Perlino Tobianos and two Buckskin Tobianos. Phoenix would be the third Buckskin Tobiano. We can show you some other examples of Buckskins in our herd. I'll do a little mini slideshow or show you some videos of some of our guys, but little Phoenix here is definitely a Buckskin. That he's considered a Buckskin Tobiano or a Buckskin Paint, but he is still a Buckskin that can't find a comfy spot to sleep. Oh my goodness. Just lay down, buddy. So this is Cruz, Phoenix's dad. As you can see, he's a very dark buckskin Tobiano paint. 
This is Holly B. She's a light buckskin Tobiano. Tess is a dark buckskin. Rosie, very light buckskin Tobiano. Emmy, a buckskin splash. Xander, solid buckskin. Clyde, solid buckskin. Wally, buckskin Tobiano. Gemma, buckskin Tobiano. Seven, another buckskin Tobiano. Lucas, full sibling to Phoenix, buckskin Tobiano. Coco, buckskin Tobiano. Highland, full sibling to Phoenix, buckskin Tobiano. And Evie, a buckskin Tobiano. So we hope you learned something new today about proper terminology. We really hope this was helpful to anyone that was questioning if Phoenix was a buckskin or not. And uh, if you have any specific questions about color genetics or horse disease genetics, please let us know and we would love to answer them. Like I said, genetics is kind of a passion of mine. I love talking about it. So again, thanks for watching and keep those questions rolling and have a great day just like phoenixes.